Now, with a clap offering unto the Lord, shall we receive the ministry of the chairman of our church, Apostle Eric Nyamiche. Let's clap unto the Lord. Let's clap unto the Lord. We want to bless God for this opportunity to be here. We want to thank you profusely for honoring our invitation to be part of this gathering. We are here because of this flag. This flag. That's why we have been singing the patriotic song. We seek the well-being of this flag. There are institutions and individuals in this nation, but nobody is supposed to lift himself up or herself up above this flag if you are a market woman we want you to have money but all your businesses you endure to the benefit of this flag if you are chief in any constituency remember that you are ruling on the land of this flag I say, Frank, I ain't and I would be here. If you are a minister and those of us who lead churches, churches are of no relevance if it doesn't impact this flag. Mubi be a software now. Sorry, me into me more and I say, young for so be bri bra into me fan who is a Frank. I say, our forebears place the honors of the development on the land, not on the leaders, but on the citizens. Even our main national anthem, I think the first stanza sometimes is, does not help us too much because we have gone beyond the first stanza. We must dwell more on the second and the third. Because there's no any oppressor who is ruling us. Now. This is our land. Yenara. It is for us. It's not for politicians. And yet neither is it for chiefs and queen mothers our forebears said that yen ara this land belongs to all of us so maybe you say you and the nation's development depends on the lives of the citizens doesn't depend on loan from america it depends on the morals the citizens have. Because Ghana is for you. Let its development be your focus. O me se rinye yo e yen se na ho se o ma fu bra nature that is what we are saying we are looking at the moral vision and national development because whether the, this land will develop or not it depends on the morality the behavior it depends on the attitude of the citizens in this land so mind be yeah e jina abrabo pa any o mamma no abrabo a obebo eso so our four bears please the honors of the development on the land please sit down 
from the citizens now how come that our generation we are now looking at leaders and not ourselves why is the selfish where is it coming from why do we have chiefs and our water bodies are being destroyed why can't all of us Put our hands together and stop the galamsey. Why are we destroying our forests? Why are we no longer leading in cocoa? For many years, the Avorians have learned from us they are leading our uh, the cocoa industry. Why are we still exporting our minerals when all of us wise men and women are here and we can't do anything about it why are you not leading in the why are young men leaving this nation why why is it that every politician wants the child to study abroad why are politicians going to outside for medical care why are chiefs joining them why are our leaders running away and leaving us in Ghana? Shall we bow our heads in prayer? You are God forever. Take control over this ministry in this day. In the name of Jesus. Lift your name up, O God. In the name of Jesus. Let your voice in the name of Jesus. Let your face be seen. In the name of Jesus. You console the name of Jesus. We thank you, Jesus' name. Now, this is the third time the Church of Pentecost is organizing a development conference. Now, we had the first one which was mainly directed to our political leaders. Then we also had one for the clergy, the ministers of God. And now this one is for our traditional leaders. One may ask, why is the church organizing national development conference? Why is the church venturing into national matters uh, so far as development is concerned? no the church can never be relevant yeah. if it stays in the fortress of the wars it will never affect the society now what will be the effect of light if it doesn't enter into darkness there are many reasons why we want to be part of the matters of the nation. But I'll give three and dilate on them. Now the first one, the purpose of the church is the transformation of the nations. Because we are the light and the salt of the earth. Number two, church history invites us to join in the conversation of national development. Because the church has done it before. And succeeded. And in our generation, we cannot just fill our churches with anointing oil and close our eyes to what is going on in the land. Lastly, and the most important righteousness exalts a nation 
Sin is a reproach to every land. If we don't lift righteousness on this land, this nation will never be exalted. And this is scripture. This is law. If we don't lift righteousness by virtue of the people's morality, this nation will never be exalted. We have achieved something, but you see, when the people are morally evil, the very things we achieve, they will also destroy it. Let me take the first one. The purpose of the church is the transformation of nations. And I will make a case for moral vision here. See, the Great Commission requires the church to abandon its fortress mentality and get people actively engaged in ministry to the world. Now considering all target groups within a given population, including chiefs and queen mothers. Now this is done with the understanding that persons are not isolated individuals. Now we are persons in community. And so when people come to church, they are coming from a community. Whatever goes on in the community impacts on their day-to-day life. So the church cannot say. That we are saving individuals, but we are not concerned about their habitation. No, both have to be evangelized. We need to save individuals and save and transform the nation as well. The church must get involved in the affairs of the nation. It is the light of the world and the salt of the earth. One area that I believe that the church can really champion the cause is the transformation of nations. By awakening the citizens to the need for a moral vision to drive our developmental agenda. Now, we need to actually make sure that the citizens come to terms to the, the fact that we need morality as a foundation for development. See, the most important factor, I believe, in development of, in, in development of a nation is the nature of its citizens. And this is supported by all the patriotic songs we have sung this morning. The character they have. The values they hold. To, the competence they come along with. And their commitment to the cause of the nation. Why is it that some people are even richer than their constituency? What do you need that, all that money from? You are a chief. You are richer than your constituent. If you are richer than all the people around you and your community. We need to pay attention to the development of everyone. Our politicians. And sometimes people think that we people go into politics just because of wealth. You see, it may be a perception, 
But let the politicians prove us wrong. To the be any part you need say, you need to ask wrong. Yeah. Echo pa ma yo. Some people are going to say, "What person you want?" We, if it's me, I had the one part you need more. When people have finished school and they have not even worked anywhere and they become deputy ministers, who are they going to preside over? Prove us wrong. Nipa, every year school, no one yajuma baby ya, no akwa kodi peni ya. Otherwise, the procession will hold. And this ah, the nipa you know, and no one will be cause why you Prove us wrong. But more than that, we need to know that we are not. Sadly, our developmental goals and our political manifestos and the manifestos from chiefs all address what they want our nation and our people to have. So when I come, I'll build roads. When I come, when I come. So that's why, even in political campaigns, uh, the so called. Uh, not, not even the full soldiers. The delegates. Yeah. 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 Bring money. Fesikabra. And because of that situation, certain people who can even lead us, they shy away. And because they don't have the money. And I'm saying to you, you can't get me a deal, you can't get 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 a deal. Now listen, what is important that we should address as the fundamental question is what kind of people do we want to become in future? A moral vision for the future. We, we might have lost it today, but we shouldn't lose it tomorrow. Our manifestos should not be, I'll do this, I'll build rules. The very people you are not developing, they will destroy the rules. No man who do a year drink drink say you bet to me dear boy man in put on and say say you are my no be a quiet who do a year young co say a mama dear more ni panwa or be say we are not by this saying that infrastructure development, technological advancement, etc. are not important. No, that is not what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, can I say no man who do a year to me city say a coin any a bear for quantum pound do a year city a coin mono and yet there be yes an America. However, it is hard to imagine that even these by themselves, the roads and all that, would work positively without people whose lives are shaped by right values and whose actions are guided by the right principles. So at the end of the day, the real development is what the people bring on board. Let me reiterate the point again. The most important factor in the development of a nation is the nature of its citizens. Now the character they have the values they hold the competence they come along with and they are commitment to the cause of the nation now take this from me no nation does rise in development above the character of its citizens no nation the issue of character and morality have a direct bearing on economic and technological development. One Ivan Christo, the political writer, 
widely considered as the father of U.S. neoconservatism, Irene Christov said this. Now he suggested that the economy is but a description of how people are behaving. Today the dollar is flying. And dollar these are symptoms. But the reality is what the citizens are doing. When everybody is changing cities to dollars and the rich are hoarding the, do the, the, the dollars, it will rise. And inflation is because of the activity of the citizens. Now, inflation is the, the indicators of what is going on inside the, the land. Interest rates. National income and national debt. They are all symptoms. The reality is what the human beings in the nation are doing. That is causing what we are seeing. <laughs> so when you come and you say that we'll fix the economy without paying attention to the citizen, you can fix the economy. But look at how we all fought and debated on the uh, E levy, we're talking about the percentage, and I said, This is what's his percentage? See, percentage is important depending on what you are multiplying by. Otherwise, percentages are not important. I remember I told someone that human beings are smarter than percentage. Now, if they change their behavior, you will not get anything. Today, where is Ilevi? Because the Ghanaians are smart. If you say that I'm going to tax you when you 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 murmured such an amount, then you divide it into two. He, he does this today and tells the, the mother that tomorrow I'll bring you the rest. So he will do today and tomorrow, and you will not you don't have any money. That was how Ghanaians used their mind to beat the e levy And to share said the e levy abra boye e na o kasa o de be two ways so na e bia I just say e koko do answer na o be timi ati afri mo o be chemi enu na wa ye na kakra kakra. May all political aspirants here today, you can't change anything if you don't concentrate on the citizens of their land. Now listen. Bad road condition is not only because the road lacks structural integrity, but mainly because the contractor, the person who constructed the road, lacks integrity. Corruption. I mean corruption of all sorts. Bribery. Over invoicing. Under invoicing. Corruption of our water bodies. Yes. Air pollution is also corruption. Now deforestation is corruption. Yes. Now, illegal mining is corruption. Illegal connection of electricity is corruption. Favoritism, nepotism, corruption. Corruption of our beaches. They are all but the manifestation of human activity. And a reflection of the kind of people we are. 
the filth that you see around in our rivers and in the streets are caused by human activity we if we how many of you have seen Bola walking before? This is caused by human beings. So if you just collect refuse and you don't attack the human being who is doing that, touch the mind and let the person learn how to manage refuse, not to litter around, we'll be collecting and collecting. And because it is money for some, Nobody wants to tackle the real cause. She said, Obama, the answer is a sassy and ray, a free baby, a guno. No one's the same free, Nipana Jimua, or China, a baby go. In some, in some countries, ethics and moral education or ethics and national development is a compulsory course in the university. What I may be so no, or brap. It's a compulsory course. Hmm. What are we teaching our children? Now let us go and examine the religious and moral education again. Uh, whether it is working. If it is not working, let somebody do something about it. Today, we don't even teach our history in our schools. So what the children know is America. Why why, why did this happen? I pray that God will help us. Are we together? Hmm. You see, the human being was created to be a manager. Genesis 2 verse 15. 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 God created human beings as managers. Now, the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. Na Onyanko Pong Bo Onipa Anna Odeno Equatina Edin Tum was a on no na on yeho. And God knew what he wanted from man, and he knew who man is, so he gave clear instructions as to what you should do and not do. You see, so he he gave them some some boundaries. Now you cannot leave human beings like that with there's no discipline, there's no check. People just cross the red line and nobody say anything. Because if the policeman arrests the person, a certain chief will put on a cloth and go and say that way, I am off as you know. Yeah. No discipline. Said when Yanko Pombo ni pano ni said you party here to a chiano the answer so yeah, and the answer so yeah. Said when you party and say no quatra baby, one two share or better. You arrest a political leader and all the party folks will stomp the court and before you say jack the matter is destroyed because the human being is supposed to be the manager of god's earth now, if you want any development and you don't factor the human behavior you will not succeed. So open no one See, it is a fact that everything rises and falls on the leader, but it is also true that the character of the people a leader surveys will determine whether the leader succeeds or otherwise. And now, when the people a leader presides over, 
Do not uphold values. Achieving success as a leader will be a difficult thing to attain. Now, if there are a bunch of thieves, even you, the leader, will live in fear. The people are thieves. And you are their king. And now and now that one. And now you can't sleep. If you want, you want to sleep, what do you mean? Work on the people. Yo, but so da yes, any pan work you ma. Work on the people. Yo won't you ma. Why did Moses, the great leader, not enter the promised land? Because of the people. I didn't think Moses went to me and could do what she said. So, Nipa would do what he wanted to do. Why did the high priest fail by producing a calf, a golden calf for Israel to worship? He, when Moses questioned, he said, "The people." I didn't think. And now, so for Penny, went to me and him could say, "Oh, how far?" Please take this statement. No leader will enter his envisioned promised land if his people do not want to go to do not want to go there. Or can the new be anywa or bet to me a quaco wura ne this one di wuno be be or person in pandi ruo kodu bra ni pani ni akra so abeko. Number two, I'll take the second one. History invites us the church. To join in the conversation of national development. See, at Mark Weber, a German socialist and economics, and also a politician, um, says that Mark Weber, not German, but he meant not only Omanyoni, he said no kasai. The Industrial Revolution that gave birth to new economy in Europe. And eventually to our modern civilization was as a result of the teachings of the European Protestants. Now, that is why we have brought all of you to come and listen to the teachings we also have in church. These teachings gave birth to a new economy. That is largely known as capitalism. Now, proud to their teaching, what they used to do to motivate workers was to maybe increase their wages. But the more you increase their wages, they become the more they became lazy. And then they will not even come to work. Answer what is Sanchez Bayano. Now, Pesu be a Jumei or Bomodin to Naketium, no one said, What to Akatuanimono, Nedi and Hakrampo Eba. But the basic teachings of the Protestants change all. Now, so Protestant for when church is a son, no Macra. Then I want to highlight on some of the teachings. Now, Pesame Bobo Baku, Munubi, and I want us to hold on to that one. Now, Pesay, you couldn't we as a chief, as a queen mother, set. Now, if you apply it to your jurisdiction, it will work. And let the church hold on fast to this teaching. Now, I'll, I'll talk about a couple of them. Number one, you can project the first one. They thought about equality of all before God. What should I say? That is what they thought. Every person is equal in value. Either behind the pulpit or as a laborer. We are all carriers of God's image. Now my driver said something to me, I think about three days ago. Because I had called the center and I was asking about the preparation towards this conference. I was with him alone and then he decided to participate in what I've just said. This is 
what my driver said what he said was that be very careful about chiefs because they are wise people and when you are bringing them to a place you must ensure everything is orderly now when he said that it made me to continue the course and make sure that every place is properly swept that was a driver's contribution we a driver you see when you don't even respect your gate man <laughs> you yeah. because you don't respect the gate man you yourself they will not steal your clothes they will steal you yourself so and the gate man will look on because you don't respect that man they thought that we should respect all everyone is valuable number two they emphasize the dignity of labor every chief should make sure that you eradicate laziness in your community let's eradicate laziness there, there is dignity in work they emphasize the principle of justice and equality in the distribution of wealth now they strongly believe that he who does not work should not eat and they taught it now they believe that the, they believe that the principle of the kingdom values of virtues and morals in the bible must not remain just in the church they must be part of the structure and the building blocks of society. And that is why we are here. There are so many good things in the church. Yeah. But we can't keep them in, the, in our fortress. Because they must be part of the structure and the building blocks of society. Now today when you talk about Ghana, say, hey, Ghana, this is religion. Ghana is a secular state. And when 70, about 90% of us are religious, you say secular. You don't want to give us space to talk. And then, oh boy, Ghana, so yes, hey, and no, hey, your mind was so, oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, 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 so, yeah, 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 the law comes from the church Zion and that righteousness must be at the basis of the nation government and society in general protestants want church and church say three new way if you want to come from remote and buy there's a cell bomb or the water or many money and you know the picture of my the protestants strongly advocated the integrity of one's words they believe that your yes must be yes and your name must be nay. It became the basis for contracts and business and commerce so that there is no deception anywhere. They thought that everybody has a calling. It may not be in the four walls of the church, except the clergy. Your profession is your service to God and man. So when you are a chief, that is your service to God and country. It is as sacred as the work that I'm doing. And God is interested in what you do. He wants you to manage his world. Ministry is not only meant for the clergy. Every believer is a minister. Every Christian should go out there and be a minister. 
Now, this is number nine. Yeah, I want us to read this one together. Shall we go? The Protestants thought that money and wealth are byproduct of diligence, sacrifice, hard work, and fashion. Money is a byproduct. That you come from hard work. Now we So when somebody is getting money, getting money, he's not applying the mind. We should challenge the source. Number ten. Shall we read number ten together? Ready go. The Protestants thought that the secular work is as sacred as the clergy's. This is the big one. And I intentionally reserved that for the last. Now we and the case here and I'm the edit war. The number eleven. They taught their people to choose to live for the long term, even eternity. What church they won't call for and so mama no said you will be to my trans and yama dachi. This perceptive on time motivated them to be far sighted. We a boawong and a bribiamu or when you swadi huna a conkai sacrificing the short term for the long term and to bribiamu and prim prim and I nadiano or bombarding so what if a bar for the air or chinin now they live with the next generation in mind. What does in Yano or Juna want to at was a banner? They were never interested in amassing wealth. At the expense of the nation and the next generation. Now, when a nation does not have its youth in mind and the next generation in mind, it will just run and hit the wall. So maybe and when it won't mebu no any won't that I want to atwas one huna or desire no passes. Now if we are all galam saying. What that means is that we are not thinking about the next generation. In the light of the Protestant teaching, like numbers of people saw for the first time the reality of their individual importance. Now, power and their potential. They saw that the way they lived and the way they raised their children had a lasting significance. Now, I want you to repeat this after me if you can. They saw that the immediate was less important than the eternal. They saw that the immediate was less important than the eternal. So they chose to look to live for a long time. They chose to live for a long time. Yeah, we, you see, I have not been too long on this planet. But I know that they reserve some forests. That's and then they reserve some place for sani, uh, sanitation. They reserve some place as park. They reserve some place. Today, every reserve place, the chiefs have sold them. Every reserve place. Even place for sanitaries. <laughs> That is why there is no summer. Because someone phoning in our society, I say, I said, go for some go for in your name. Say, someone phoning in Andy Hope you. The phone of my auntie. Say, Antina Sine and me or Chinahua. Say, your infants, you're in your name, you're not seeing you are. For some micro on that. We don't think about tomorrow and we try to pick all the things today. 
even if we die, we can't sleep soundly. Now, for a nation that claims we have 71.2% of its people Christians, if you add the Muslims, we're over 90. If you practice and teach what the Protestants taught, now, we will have the same results. Somebody said, you see, when it comes to morality, we are looking up to you, the church. Then I told him that, has the church ever sworn to lead Ghana? Then he said, when you are leading the nation, when you are leading the constituency, the, res- the moral responsibility lies on you. The church will come in and support. You see, when the social structure incarnates evil, righteousness becomes difficult. See, when we are talking about moral value, we are not talking about the culture of the people. But godly principles and values that are generational and global. Moral principles will result in strong institutions. And structures that will uphold the nation. Now we see normal who do anase for pema who do a mo mani to me jina so na jina ye. Hebrews one verse three says that God sustains all things by His powerful word. So when any nation takes the word of God as a rule and live by the principles of the kingdom, the nation will be sustained by God. Some of the principles and values are what? Like work, and the dignity of labor. Like patriotism. Frugality. This is not being a miser. It is also not being extravagant. But this one is being wise in the way you manage funds we, and property. We, and it's a, we nyansa, eh, to, to a eh, shen, kama, 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 now, some of the principles are service, Sa? respect for all, no honesty, kindness, Papa, yeah. love, Odo. faithfulness, Se, truthfulness, Se, oh, yeah, no, for. forgiveness. Contentment, humility, integrity, respect for time. One of our pastors complained about uh, the leader's lack of control of time and lack of managing meeting. Then he also responded he was also trying to give an explanation that the people they don't come on time but you said you close on time somebody, somebody came from outside the person was going to attend a wedding that we we had this weekend when we were going out of the place the person was not coming out of a taxi said, oh have you closed say yes Oh, they told me that as for Ghana, uh, they said 11, but say Ghana has changed. Oh, yeah, 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 oh, Chiefs, rise. Rise. I'm sorry. 
Teach some statues again in your community. And encourage your young people to respect the law. I mean, moral uprightness to generate the desired transformation against such principles, there is no law. Without a moral vision, a nation is tossed to and flow by every wind of teaching. And eventually it generates degenerates into anthropy. Now entropy. we need to integrate moral vision into the concept of our national development and better still make it its foundation above all we need the discipline of living by these values and we must be intentional uh, that we see that there's behavioral change. Now when I see a bomb modern see Binya was so yeah yeah juma na yes said that bomb modern say nipa it is now when there is behavioral change our institutions will work. Now we and in such a beba ne de bano you could say a normal a year. Now when the citizens are transformed, they know how to transform their nation. Say nipa no was such a or no habit to me as such a man. When people say that the system does not work, it doesn't mean nobody is doing anything right. Oh. But that there is no shared value. Then pay attention to this. A people living with conflicting values will find development a mountain to climb. Let us all settle on some values. Let us all be committed to it. This nation will develop. Now we My last one. Righteousness exalts a nation. Sin is a reproach to every land. Now, Proverbs 14, verse 34. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin condemns any people. Bonnie a more mind so now a train a more mind so now so bonnie a saint if could be now the word righteousness in this passage is not does is not uh, necessarily applying to being born again as righteous in Christ no but adhering to God's moral standards as found in his word evident in the values and principles and lifestyle of the kingdom of God any nation perishes if its people lack righteousness where are we now and how do we move from here Isaiah 59 because of time let's read verse 14 and it so justice is driven back and righteousness stands at a distance. Truth has stumbled in the streets. Honesty cannot enter. Now, what Danny Atemu any Natene Akojina a chi 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 chi. Now, no cre Ashia Sibedrum, not dear Etene and to me. Now, verse 15. Do no more. Truth is nowhere to be found. And whoever shuns evil becomes a prey. So, and this thing is practically in our workplaces. Yeah. Now, when everybody no. is preferring and then stealing, and then you make yourself, you say, I, I don't want to be part. So, make sure that the system rejects you. 
So I'm saying, now, Kure, I a dear, and we are not. Now, dear, or Chin, and everybody will know what form no far. So, my uncle, I knew Kure. The Lord looked, the Lord looked and was displeased that there was no justice. Now, everybody, who need now, and so any now say, I think we'll be a anyhow. I think we can all identify with this situation. I am praying. And I pray that you catch the fact that there will be no proper development on any land if we take our eyes of the citizens, who they are, what they have, the competence they bring, their behavior and the values they hold on to. So what would the chief do? Now what would the king do? Now what should the queen mother do? I will leave you wise men and women. Reflect. Think about what you can do. Because the people respect you. Rise as a leader. Sorry, second And another word for leader is example. You can. We can rise. We can mobilize our people. We can change our situation. Let it begin with you. Now, my answer is free. From now. God bless us.